In today's video I'd like to address the mistake that I've made in the review and then follow up firmware videos regarding the Fenerzy LC120E. Uh, it seems I made a bit of a mistake uh, as a kind commenter pointed out so I'd just like to address that and rectify that mistake. So let's go. <laughs> In both of those videos I said that I was unhappy with the manual ranging function where it um, alternated between 100 ohms and 100k ohms um, and suggested that that, that should actually uh, represent the value that you're actually measuring. Now I had a comment um, saying that, that I was mistaken and that um, these type of LCR meters um, will only allow you to change the range of the impedance that you're measuring. So my understanding of, of the operation of LCR meters is that they do in fact measure um, complex impedance or total impedance. Then they calculate the phase angle and then use those two values to tell you the inductance or the capacitance of the device that you're measuring. And apparently um, when you change the range button you are actually selecting the range of the impedance measurement it will use that value with the phase angle and the test frequency to calculate either the impedance or the capacitance so that is my mistake now the only reference I had to go by was I used to use HP um, LCR meters back in the late 90s early 2000s and from my memory I never really had to change the range on those things because they were so good. But I did actually go back and look at the the uh, technical or the instruction manual for that particular device from 2000, I think. And in fact, the range function on that was exactly the same. So I am mistaken. That is my mistake. I do apologize for to all of my viewers for that. And therefore, I cannot expect a firmware update to actually display the um, the range that you actually want to measure. It's only going to display the impedance range of the meter. 